Hello, I'm Richard. I'm Danielle. <laughs> and these are our two little boys. Say hi. 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 Richard and I first met when we were in high school in our hometown of Selma, Tennessee. And then after graduation, I moved to Memphis to go to school and then the moved to Nashville. So in 2005, he convinced me to move to Nashville with him. And trust me, it didn't take much convincing. So here we are. After our first son was born, we moved to our small little apartment. And then after our second came along, we wanted to get out, but it just didn't work out that way. This has been home for us for three years now. And we like it just fine. It's just way too small for a growing family of four. We don't even have room for a dinner table. And if you're a parent, you can imagine how hard it is to have dinner at a coffee table with two little rowdy rough tops. Even though there are several things about this apartment that are just not working for us anymore, we feel like we're stuck. So before we got ourselves stuck here in this apartment, things were going very well for us. I had a good job that supported us well enough that Danielle was able to be a stay-at-home mom. We had a pretty nice savings and very little debt. And we were also in the beginning stages of buying our first home. Things were going pretty good up until I got laid off. When I first lost my job, we weren't that worried. When we started running out of money, we did what any worried family would do. We sold everything on Craigslist. Once we liquidated all of our valuables, we had to turn to our savings. And once our savings was gone, our only option was to live on credit cards and just hope to find work. So we just went from being ready to buy a house to no income, no savings, and loads of new debt. So over a period of about six months, we lost pretty much everything that we had been working towards for the last five years. Finally, after some time, I got a job as a server. We're very thankful to have some kind of income coming in, but as you can imagine, it's very hard to support a family for on a service income. So, why do we deserve free rent for a year? We don't. But our boys do. They deserve more room to play and a nice yard to exercise in. But most of all, they deserve a family environment that is stable and as a family, we have lots of goals, but our number one goal has always been to find a permanent place to live, or at least a permanent town to live in, before our boys start school. We only have two years left until our oldest starts school. That may sound like a lot of time, but it's actually not enough time considering where we are now and where we need to be by that time. Right choice. 